Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a bit of a different video today. We're gonna to be doing a pick a card all about what do people love about you but you don't see within yourself. So this is gonna be about your connections you have with people, how do people see you, what sort of relationships you have with them and things like that. So let's get started with this reading. So we have group number one with the smoky quartz, group two with the clear quartz, group three with the citrine and group three with the rose quartz heart. So please choose your group. All the timestamps are down below. Thank you so much for being here and let's get started. So starting off with group number one. Hello, group number one. Let's get started with your reading. So let's see what's going on for you guys around this topic about what do people love about you but you don't see yourself. So we have this beautiful little smoky quartz. Let me put her there. All right, so let's see what cards we have. We have fertility. We have share your voice. Come out of the cave, persecution and expression. Sloth, digital detox. Recalibrate, reset and recharge. And then I'm going to grab some animal cards and we're gonna see what sort of personalities wanna come out of there as well. Underneath the energy, we have the mouse cards. So this is to do with feeling quite shy, being quite introverted, somebody who kind of lacks a bit of courage, kind of needing to step up more within like speaking your truth and things like that. Okay, so let's see what we have. So first of all, the card that I'm really being drawn to is a sloth. Sloths may be your favorite animal, it may be an animal you're very much drawn to. So the sea serpent in reverse is making me feel like you're somebody who's very internal. You are somebody who likes to kind of keep, keep to yourself. I'm getting quite a strong Scorpio vibes from this group. I feel like you have a sense of needing to share your voice more. You, I feel like you think more than what you say. So I feel like what people love about you is that you are really, really caring. You're somebody who is always the carer of the group. You're somebody who always loves to share your voice, share your energy. And I feel like with the fox, the fox always um, shows for me as a, a kind of a card of uh, relationships and long-term commitment. So you most likely, your kind of mission here is to have connections, have really strong relationships with people. And I do feel as if you take love quite seriously or somebody who um, really loves people, you love love and you may be a little bit romantic. I'm getting for some of you guys that you may be romantic, some of you may not be so romantic. I feel like people love the fact that you just really care, you're very, very kind and you're somebody who has quite strong boundaries around technology. You're somebody who has quite good communication with technology and you're somebody who may influence others to have that reset as well um, and kind of get away from that technology that maybe other people kind of maybe like addicted to or something like that. So the sea serpent, you may be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a fire sign, of Aries, Leo, Sag. I feel as if you're somebody who has quite strong psychic abilities. You do like to kind of look at the broader perspective or you're somebody who likes to look at the occult version of things. So say with things going on around the world, you don't really take it too seriously in a sense where you don't get too down about it, you don't go into fear. You're somebody who can kind of step away from it. I'm getting really strong Sagittarius vibes from this group. So also what people love about you is that they can come to you for advice. You're somebody who is really, really caring. You're somebody who has a lot of advice. Um, here we have share your voice, come out of the cave, persecution expression. This is telling you to express your views. So you're somebody who you may like kind of express your views a lot, but you you don't really say a lot. Um, this kind of shows me that you're definitely learning to speak your truth, speak your voice, and basically explain really how you feel. And this could also be that you are a singer. You're somebody who really loves to express yourself through your voice, through your throat chakra, and you may be currently working on your throat chakra right now. I also feel that pe that you don't see how amazingly creative you are. Um, there's a sense of like seeing into things really deeply and I feel like it's you may persecute yourself or you know hurt yourself because you are very sensitive. You're somebody who cares a lot and that may be something that you think is something that you don't like about yourself but actually this is something that's the best part of you because you believe in unconditional love. You believe in a love that's balanced and mature and something where you can really care for each other and be cared for and things like that. It just feels it feels really nice. I do feel like some of you guys may cling on to things a little bit too long um kind of outdated beliefs kind of things that you feel about yourself where you maybe stress yourself out a little bit over it but i do feel as if you are definitely working on um feeling strong within yourself you may even be working on physically your arms or your legs to try and get more um fitter and more stronger i do feel as if people see 
a lot of the time some some people can be very jealous of your body and your body type um, you may be somebody who works out a lot you're somebody who likes to keep fit or it could be that people are very jealous of like your almost like beauty standards so um, you're very beautiful you're somebody who you love um, things that are much about beauty so like you may have really nice nails you may have really nice hair uh, you may have really lovely skin you know something like that and people look at you and think I wish I looked like that or I wish I had that but maybe people stare at you a lot but you think they're staring at you because it's like a bad thing but actually they're, they're looking at you because they really love your energy alrighty so let's see what else is around you for this group so we're going to see what other kind of personality traits you may have Okay, we have ostentation, impulsiveness, submission, defense, adaptability and protection. So you may have quite an intense personality or somebody who doesn't sugarcoat things. Um, you will protect people with your life. You're very loyal. Um, you're somebody who is quite impulsive. There are things that you may do that you may do quite quickly. You may think, oh, maybe I should slow down, but you kind of forget and then you just do 50 things at once. You kind of burn yourself out. I feel like for you guys, it's actually um, remembering to focus on yourself sometimes. You may overdo it for people. You may help other people at the extent of yourself. So I do feel as if this is really an important message to really focus on your own energy and to kind of come to a place where you can feel much more at peace with your energy and not to kind of rush things or be too impulsive about things. I do feel as if you use money as a way to kind of feel much more safe and comfortable. You may be somebody who likes luxuries and I do feel as if what people love about you is that you have really good taste as well. You're somebody who doesn't like to sugarcoat on um, things. You may like cheap things but other things you really don't like to to scrimp and scrape you're somebody who likes quality and I feel like you like quality over quantity I feel as if people are very attracted to your beauty you may kind of um, get taken advantage of because you are so beautiful you definitely have like a strong radiance I feel as if for some of you guys you have this really intense sexual energy that people are really drawn to and um, because you have such an intense energy people are really drawn to that like intensity they want that and it may be that you have caused or not not sorry not caused like you, you've kind of been drawn into drama where you actually don't want to be but it's kind of happened um and i feel like with ostentation this is about you not getting carried away with other people's opinions of you um i feel like you may be dragged kind of into peer pressure or drama where you think oh this is not good but i do feel like this is something that you're learning to work through so let's get you some tarot and let's see what else is around you in this area. Let's get you three tarot cards. So we have the Emperor. We have the Eight of Wands. I definitely feel like you guys are impatient. You may be in Aries. So I do feel as if people love your quick thinking. You do have a lot of ideas and people, some people may actually copy your ideas. Um, we have the sun as well. You like to be kind of the center of attention. Some of you guys, it's like being the center of attention. Some of you guys like to be very introverted. Obviously, this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. Um, the six of pentacles is kind of about you balancing your relationships with people. So I do feel as if your kind of lesson right now is to learn to balance out how much you give and receive in love and not to overdo it or underdo it. <laughs> and the emperor is saying to stand strong in your power. I do feel like you have quite a strong leader energy. A lot of you guys are definitely fire signs who pick this group. I feel like you like to take the lead. You like to take charge. And sometimes that can kind of feel like a bit of a burden because other people rely on you too much. But I do feel as if this is something that you're learning to kind of take pride in and acknowledge that this is actually a really good trait of yours and you can do anything you set your mind to. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like a private reading, all information is down below along on my crystal shop. Thank you so much. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So let's see what people love about you, but you don't see yourself. So we have the beautiful Clear Quartz Heart. I love this. Such a lovely crystal. So let's see what your oracle cards are. We have Grace. Grace, blessing, come to me. Come to me to set me free. Take a break. A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. We have Mintarkan, longing for home, belonging the original light workers. 
And then we also have antelope, new pathways, consider whether you're happy on your current path. Ooh, okay, I'm picking up really strong Virgo and Pisces for this group. You guys have a very subtle, like delicate energy. You have a very strong energy where people really get drawn to you because you have such a light heart. And I feel like people can take advantage of your energy because you are such a light energy. You're somebody who really cares for others you really care for what other people think of you you are a very sensitive being so i'm going to give you the advice of making sure you're not giving away your energy too much because you're somebody who's very delicate you may be quite scared of a lot of things you may have quite a lot of fears or may have been quite a sensitive child um, your body may be very sensitive you may be very sensitive to energetic changes things like that i'm getting really strong like starseed and uh, rainbow child from this group so that may be who you uh, kind of associate as and I do feel as if it's really important for you to take a break now and then. So what people love about you is your sensitivity. They love how genuine you are. You're very down to earth. You're somebody that anyone can talk to. You have such a loving, open energy where people can just literally just say how they feel to you and you really understand them. You're very non-judgmental. You're somebody who definitely has a lot of fears, though. You kind of may have a fear of people lo lo losing you, you losing them. <laughs> losing people okay losing people you may have a fear of like losing people or getting lost you may have had um dealing with abandonment things like that so what this is saying is to really focus on your journey what do you want to do in this lifetime that's really going to help you move through um the uncomfortable energy around sensitivity because sensitivity overall is a blessing it's something to be really proud of and be really you know happy about this is something that you people are going to really love about you you know and I feel like people can say oh you know it's not good to be sensitive because you know you pick up on things that other people don't but actually this is a really good trait because you can basically understand everyone and not everyone has that ability not everyone can understand everyone on, on their level because at the end of the day if people are still in their ego and they only care really about themselves then they're not going to be able to relate to people what, of what they're showing them they're only, only going to relate to them as to what they want to believe you know and what their opinion is so I feel like as well is you guys definitely need to take a break now and then you may be somebody who's constantly like go 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 all the time and especially with the Virgo energy I mean this is all about you taking a step back because Virgos are constantly going they constantly burn themselves out because they care so much about other people you may be a health prof professional you may be a nurse a doctor you may be um in holistic therapy you may be somebody who does acupuncture uh, counseling something like that you're you're a healer in some level it may be spiritual healer it may be more of a physical healer you know something like that obviously everything is spiritual in some level but I do feel as if some of you guys might do massage or crystal therapy or crystal kind of um, alignment, breaky, stuff like that. Um, and I do feel as if you may have been dragged down a hole where you may not even really like what you're doing at the moment because you may have kind of listened to other people and they're not, it's not really what you want to do. So this is saying to consider whether you're happy on this path. I do feel like people love how open-minded you are. You, you don't judge people. You're really up for a good time as well. I'm seeing you guys like dressing up and like trying on things that no one would have the guts to do. Um, I'm seeing you're the sort of person that has a very sensual energy, like people are drawn to your moves. You may be a dancer, uh, you may be a singer. You definitely have a creative energy that's not like fully forced out. It feels very natural. You're very naturally beautiful. You're very naturally creative. And I do feel as if some of you guys, I'm picking up that some of you guys are saying I'm not creative, I'm not, I'm more methodical. You can be creative in any way, you know, it can be organising your cupboards, it can be hoovering your house, you know, that, that is a sense of creativity, it's, it's whatever you associate creativity with. Like, you can maybe put some tunes on while you're doing the hoovering and dancing, you know, that's creative, that's you expanding your kind of awareness around making things fun you know it may be you're an organizer you might be a leader you might you might be more of somebody who's a writer you know it doesn't have to be full-on pen paper or watercolors and things like that you know it can be creativity comes in many forms it could even be you have like a massive obsession with bikes or mountain climbing you know <laughs> you know everyone's different so it's accepting what you love about yourself and it's okay to be different as well I do feel like you're somebody who's very graceful and people really love like you they just love your sensitivity so I also feel like you maybe have been let down in the past or you may be really kind of somebody who, who attracts well not very good energies because 
you have had to learn to set your boundaries because you are very caring and that can almost be a thing where people get drawn to things like moth like a moth to a flame essentially so it's really being aware of your energies and how much you're giving away to people and how much you're actually receiving in return because you need to learn to kind of make sure you're getting enough in return and not to worry about what other people are doing and worry more about yourself and not even worry about it just focus on yourself okay so I'm feeling for you guys as I say you may have been pulled into quite a bit of drama you may have a sense of the perfectionism um, that could kind of cause you to get really stressed about things I feel like the biggest thing for you is to actually accept different options so you may be somebody who's very set on one mindset or one way of doing things and I know some of you guys aren't going to like me saying this but it's basically saying to try new things that you may have never thought of so I feel like the more you meditate or the more you sit in silence and kind of chill I feel like you're going to be op you're going to be allowing your brain to be more open to different things I do feel as if there's definitely energy of being cautious around other people because you're also very eccentric you do have an eccentric streak you like to be noticed or you're somebody who you might like gardening as well people really notice you because you're different people notice you because you have a different energy to you like it's not a very kind of simple energy your energy is very intertwined you have lots of different traits so I do feel as if you but, but I feel like some of you guys do have a sense of idealism I feel like you feel that you have to have things a certain way and there may be a sense of needing to uh, have power or control over things or people so I do feel like you're learning to let go of that you're learning to have your own opinions and just sit, sitting in your energy I do feel like with this optimism energy, this is to do with you feeling optimistic about things and possibly learning to be optimistic. For those of you who are very optimistic, I feel like this is something people love about you. You always like to see the, the more positive side and that can actually be quite draining because especially if you're around narcissists or negative people, um, it can really drag you down. So make sure you're really being very aware of who you're spending your time around and things like that. And also with this, <clears throat> with this flying fish, I feel like some of you guys are like, you're very open about um, like conspiracy theories and things like that. You're very kind of, you love to look into de deep things. You love all conspiracy facts, you know, whoever you are in this, watching this video. Um, I feel like you're somebody who looks at things and you think we can change that. Let's make that better. But some people are like, now nah, when fish fly, or when, when pigs fly, you know, <laughs> it's kind of like, obviously I know some fish can fly. There is like flying fish, but this is, I'm talking about like just normal animals that don't have wings uh, or don't have the ability to fly. This basically that it's kind of like people kind of tell you oh that's not good enough you know and you've more possibly been shut down because maybe you didn't think that your opinions were worthy enough so let's get a couple of tarot cards oh I like this one so you definitely have a very childlike sense of wonder you you are very like innocent and people have definitely taken advantage of that so it's interesting because there's the six of cups and the five of cups. It's almost like, oh my God, I love this so much. It's like you, you have something you're really interested in and then you put yourself down and then you think, no, I shouldn't be interested in that. That's not good. Or things like that. You've been told that you're not good enough, but actually you have so much creativity. You have so many ideas that sometimes you think because they're different, they're not, they're not good. Um, and I feel like it's, I feel like your biggest lesson right now is to really expand your awareness and use your ideas for yourself. You know, don't give them to anyone else unless obviously you feel like you want to. But I feel like it's actually giving them back to yourself and using your abilities for your own benefit because you have these abilities for a reason and you may actually earn quite a lot of money out of those abilities. I feel like it's just trying new things as well. And remember to kind of be more open minded about that things can change for you and you can be uh, the, there is new opportunities for you that are coming in, I feel. Um, when you ex learn to expand and learn to try new things, I feel. Um, with the Six of Cups, constantly tuning into your inner child is going to be really important for you, having that sense of safety. And I also feel like it's really important for you to keep that childlike sense of wonder and don't let anyone push you down. You may have had a family member that was very depressed, that was very sad, that was very negative. Um, they're teaching you to step into your power and treat yourself with a lot of respect and remember to put yourself first. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I also am hearing that you guys might be in the fairy realm, like you're very connected to fairies and pixies and things like that. Um, you may be very connected to films that have fairies in them and the ethereal world. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a lovely day. If you'd like to purchase private reading, all that information is down below. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Hello group number three, thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So let's see, what do people love about you but you don't see yourself? So we have Citrine, 
lovely crystal, about happiness and prosperity and money and really, really good money attractor. Ooh, okay, very different to the previous two groups. Strength, strength, stability in this hour, endurance, stamina, I empower. Oh, girl, that is strong. I love that. Okay. We then have align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? You're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. And we also have chameleon, soul tribe. It is safe to be seen. Okay. This makes so much sense to me. Okay. First thing I'm really picking up on is a strength card. So obviously there's a strength card in tarot and you have that energy of the person kind of reaching in the lion's mouth and who would do that? You know, it's kind of a weird thing to do, but it's actually kind of looking into something that other people wouldn't do. It's kind of allowing yourself to step forward, to lead, to do things that you would never do. That is an energy that loads of people love about you. You are such a strong person you have gone through so much stuff in your life and you are such an independent woman as well or sorry or man so i feel like you guys are very very strong you're some you're somebody who can really endure a lot um not that you want to but you kind of have to sometimes and you're definitely somebody who gets scared that you're not aligned in a certain way in life um, i'm getting really strong scorpio from this group very strong earth signs, quite a lot of stubbornness. So you may be a fixed sign as well. Getting Taurus, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini as well. So a lot of the signs. Um, I feel like with Align Your Life, what is not aligned or needs to change. I do feel as if you struggle to figure out what is aligning for you and what is not. And it may be you actually know fully. You may have a really strong sense of intuition, but you might ignore it because it's easier. It's easier to ignore the pull, you know, the pull that's kind of, allowing you to be within your power. And I'm really focusing on the flame right now. It's really going for it. So I feel like you have a lot of um, intensity within you and you have a lot of passion. And maybe you feel like you have to push it down because it's not important enough. It's something that you feel you have to, you know, draw away because you feel like it's not good enough. You feel like you're gonna be bashed, you're gonna be let down, you're gonna be abandoned because, you have, because you're being yourself. And I do feel like the best thing for you to do is really focus on you. And I'm hearing a breaking point. So sometimes you might get to a breaking point and that point can actually be such a big revelation for you. You may get to breaking points quite a lot because you have such an intense energy. So you're kind of all or nothing. So I do feel like it's really learning to keep a balance with your emotions. You are somebody who kind of goes wee and then up and then down and then up and you're kind of like doing this all the time. So I do feel it's really important for balance, balancing your emotions, meditation, getting out in nature, and just talking about things, like getting your feelings out because you're somebody who feels a lot and that can actually really affect your mental health and your physical body. You may have had quite a few physical ailments in your life um, that have caused from uh, previous issues with family, um, your emotions, how you um, attach your emotions to others, things like that. Um, not really attach your emotions, but how you deal with things. It may have caused, as like, as it may have been manifested into a physical ailment <clears throat> excuse me you're already doing it stop overthinking keep facing your true north this is basically telling me to keep doing the damn thing girl like keep going and this is basically saying just stop overthinking like i know it's hard and i literally i know it's easier said than done it's so funny i literally watched a video on overthinking literally just before i watched this video that's crazy so i feel like you definitely overthink too much in a sense that you because you care so much and there isn't anything bad about that. That's a beautiful quality. But remember, this is the things that you're using for yourself. You're the one suffering in this situation if you're the one overthinking. Remember, if you can calm your mind down, you can expand your mind so much more than if you're in a state of anxiety or in a state of kind of high adrenaline. And I feel like a lot of the times with society is they want you to be on high adrenaline. They want you to be stressed. They want you to feel anxious because that means that they can have control over us, you know, just to put it bluntly it's really important for you to work on that adrenaline, especially if you're sensitive, especially if you pick up on things from others. Remember to cleanse yourself, guys. That's super important. People love that you are really introverted. And that's such a weird thing to say, but people love that you're such an introvert because you can go really deep into people's souls. And sometimes people actually get really intimidated because you're very strong and not everyone is like that. But I feel like for you guys, it is safe to be seen. You guys are such little cuties. You're so 
you have such an insecurity around being seen because maybe you were abandoned, maybe people told you you weren't good enough, and who gives a shit about those people? You know, at the end of the day, work on possible trauma or anything like that, as that's super important. But also remember, you are such a beautiful human and you are meant to be here. You are meant to be on this planet and people, when they see you, it's gonna be amazing. You're gonna have so much success. You may be somebody who's in the limelight, you may be somebody on social media, you may be somebody who, you know, is a speaker, a blogger, a writer, poet, something like that. It is safe for you to be seen. If there's something you want to express, bring in, do it. Don't let other, don't wait for other people. Don't wait until you get the motivation. Just do it. And I know that's scary, but you will achieve so much more in your life if you just go for it. Um, I also feel like you're going to attract a really lovely soul tribe, people who just really suit you on all, from all walks of life. And I feel like this comes from expect, um, expecting, that's not the right word, accepting yourself, accepting all your flaws, all of the parts you don't like. And also all the parts you don't like about yourself, those are the things you're going to actually love about yourself the most when you cultivate that self-love, when you trust yourself, when you love yourself for who you are. Because at the end of the day, that makes us all different. And why the hell would we want to be all the same, you know? Um, I also feel like it's really important for you to travel when you can. And people love that you're such like an open-minded person. You have such a big mind. You're always willing to learn. I feel like you're always willing to um, kind of expand your consciousness on some level. So whether that be through kind of re reading, writing, um, learning things like astrology, numerology, things like that. You're somebody who always wants to have the best for others. And I think it's kind of cultivating that for yourself and finding that for yourself and this is all about loving those parts of you that you where you kind of maybe overdo it and that's okay sometimes we overdo it and we don't have and we don't always realize and sometimes we have to overdo it to realize what we're what we can achieve and where our basically where our strength is you know and when we can overdo it because sometimes we don't actually know our threshold we don't actually know when we overdo it you know things like that so let's get you a couple more cards let's see what's going on for you my lovelies we have a convention Okay, so I do feel like a sense of you guys need to balance out your emotions sometimes. Um, you are very much like one or the other. So it's really important for you to focus on both sides of the coin, your masculine and your feminine. I do feel like for you guys especially, you're the sort of person who can get out of balance quite quickly, like out of whack. You're very sensitive to the light as well. So making sure you're getting as much light as possible in your room, in your bedroom, or if you if you kind of wake up with the sun and it's kind of affecting you, getting some blackout blinds would really help. You're somebody who is very non-judgmental. You're always trying to balance everyone else out and you kind of forget about yourself sometimes. Um, you also can be quite impulsive, but with this impulsiveness, you have so many ideas. You're really creative and sometimes people can be really jealous because you're so creative. Like you have so many different ideas um, and kind of ideolo ideologies about things um, that people can kind of get quite jealous around it. You're also very generous. You're somebody, could be either side, very, very conventional or not conventional at all. You don't like being conventional. You don't like restrictions, rules, things like that. For some of you guys, you really like that. That, that cultivates a sense of safety for you. Um, but you are very much about principles. You like politeness. You like people to be really kind to you, which, you know, that is perfectly normal. That is something we all should strive for. Um, and I feel like you, you take things very seriously. Um, you like people to treat you with respect. Um, you have a, a strong sense of like knowing yourself, things like that. And I do feel as if you guys need to learn to have patience and know that not everything happens at your timing, but it will happen for you, not to you. Um, the health card also, as I mentioned, you know, you really looking after your health. Your health is super important. You may have been excluded because of your health issues. You may have not been able to have, um, like you may have possibly like missed out on a couple of years, possibly, or feeling like you missed out on a couple of years or a few years because of possible health conditions. But remember, you're, you're going through this to be strong. You know, you're going through this to work on your strength, but also this is going to allow others to, it's, it's going to allow you to know yourself more and kind of cultivate that sense of, of looking after yourself as well. I do feel like for those of you who this resonates with, I do see you're gonna have a very big house. <laughs> and that's very strange, but like having a big house just kind of came to me really strongly. I'm really looking at this house here. Um, I'm sensing you're very connected to the earth. So you really connect to the weather. You may be very sensitive to the weather as well. I feel like people love the fact that you have so many different personalities within you. Um, I feel like you are, you kind of adapt to any sort of situation. 
Uh, you're somebody who can blend in quite nicely, but actually your lesson is to actually stand out, which is maybe why you blend in so well, because you want to, you, your lesson is to stand out. And you may be some sort of leader, you may really follow uh, Jesus or God um, or the universe, angels, however you want to, you know, associate it. I feel like you're somebody who is very caring and gentle. You're, you you just want to help others. You just want to, to be accepted in society and girl, go against the grain, you know, like I don't feel like it's, society is kind of outdated you know at the end of the day it's, it's the kind of community that I feel like you guys are striving for um, and also not to focus too much on money is what I'm hearing because you will have money in your life um, it just may come in a different form than what you expected so say if you um, you may be kind of lacking money at the moment it may be because you're not meant to earn it in that certain way all right or it may be because you're needing to work on maybe some shadow work or something like that to do with a, um, kind of receiving it can be various different things. It could also be you need to save more money or you need to be careful of what you're saving or it could be that you need to spend your money more. Maybe you save it up too much and maybe it's all about you kind of spending it in self-care, like caring for yourself. Okay, we have the world. You could be somebody who um, really loves to connect to all different types of people, all walks of life, all animals, things like that. You're very open to different beings. You may be very connected to aliens, intergalactic energies. So you're somebody who may have been very misunderstood as a child because you are actually very accepting of people and not everyone's like that. And you may have kind of been like done over by people in the sense that like people have treated you really badly. So I do feel for you, it's really good to be discerning and people will love you for you. That is what just generally what they love about you is being you being yourself. Because I feel like you have struggled to do that because maybe you've been neglected or anything like that. And when you are, if you are, have been neglected, it's about, it's about that person, not about you. You are doing the best that you can. And if someone's going to neglect you because you're being yourself, that isn't a good relationship to begin with, you know? Um, and then the three of wands is you learning to look out and kind of observe and not be too internal. The three of wands is all about you kind of waiting for your ships to come in, kind of waiting for those ideas to um, come to fruition. So I do feel like you guys are very good at manifesting. You're somebody who is very visual a visual learner and I do feel like some of you guys are actually really good at balancing your bank account and your money it kind of like it obviously depends on, on, on who I'm talking to right now because everyone is different this is a general reading but I do feel like a lot of you guys it could be you need to learn how to balance your money or you're really good at balancing money you could actually help others with their money as well so thank you so much for watching guys all the information about private readings is down below thank you so much for being here I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose the Rose Quartz Heart. Lovely. So you guys mainly, most likely have very big hearts. Um, you're very caring. You're somebody who has just an open, open heart for others. Like you don't judge people on who they are, what they look like, things like that. And I feel like that's one of the main things that people love about you is you have such a big energy around just like openness. You're very open. So we have prosperity, as this tree grows, so strong, so fine, so may I prosper from the universal divine. Number three, we have unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts and past lives. Then we have dear trust, approach the situation with a light heart. Okay, some of you guys have quite a heavy heart in some respects. I feel like you have definitely been let down quite a few times. So I feel like you'll learn to trust yourself. You'll learn to trust things. You may have been let down by a few people. You may have, I was here actually hearing some of you witness death. So if you have witnessed that, that's a calling from the universe to look after yourself, okay? If you have gone through that sort of process, if you have actually some, I've known some people who have actually like literally passed away and they've come back to life, things like that, that is calling you to look after yourself. That's calling you to focus on you. And also for those of you, you may have witnessed death, you may have seen somebody pass away. So I feel like this has, has opened your eyes to new perspectives on the different realms of 5D, the other Ds, 60, I don't know. But I feel like people love that you are so open and you're so generous. I, I can see, this is extremely random, but I'm seeing you guys filling up like party bags. You know, like when kids have parties and they have little bags of like random stuff. I'm seeing you being the hostess. So I feel like you're somebody who's definitely like, like organizing. You're like the Monica from Friends of the group. Um, you can be quite specific on things. So you're learning to trust. You do have a very strong sense of being. So it may come, um, I'm hearing at a cost. So maybe you kind of don't allow others to come in sometimes because you're scared of being rejected. So I do feel like to take it slowly with others 
and you are definitely releasing soul patterns, contracts and past lives at the moment. You're definitely releasing um, a lot of restriction and I do feel like you may have had trouble with prosperity recently. Um, so what this is saying is the more you accept the, your path right now and just let it go and be on your, and, and kind of recognize if there's anything you need to change, you know, whether it's something that you wanna be, you wanna start, it could be a new job, something like that. Obviously it's gonna resonate different for everyone. I feel like some of you guys could be cooks or you could like really like experimenting in the kitchen. You're somebody who likes putting things together and mixing them all together and kind of creating something new. You could be an inventor or something as well. This prosperity card is makes me feel really good. It feels like things are gonna to start to come together for you. So you're definitely the ideas man. You're the ideas person. You're somebody who, you always have the ideas. Everyone always comes to you for ideas. You're the hostess. You're somebody who likes to host parties and things like that. Um, you're somebody who, you like to be open-minded. Sometimes you can find yourself in a narrow path where sometimes you trap yourself in a certain mindset. So I do feel like you're learning to be more open-minded and people love that you're so organized. They love that you have very much strong efficiency. You like to be on time. You have quite strong rules about being on time and things, but that's because you, you care so much about your time and other people's time and things like that. It comes from a place, place of love. Um, I'm picking up some of you guys could be Leos, um, Aquarius, basically any of the fixed signs and Cancer as well. Okay, so you have concentration. Yeah, you guys are very have a very strong concentrated energy. You could have a lot of repeating star signs, uh, sorry, zodiac signs in your chart. So you could be like Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Capricorn, Neptune, Uranus, Venus, something like that. You have a lot of like repeating... Um, elements in your chart so your energy right now that your your soul has come down to this earth to learn is to learn to op open your heart so it's really interesting because you have an open heart but because you do have this open heart it could be that you close it a lot because you don't want to be hurt you don't want to be in pain um, and you may be a libra as well you may have dealt with depression or something that has really burdened you. I do feel like animal therapy or something would be really good for you. I am picking up on the throat chakra and we do have this card too. So you guys could be very critical of yourself. You can be very critical of um, kind of the way you think about others. It could be that, you know, I have to think in this way. Otherwise, you know, it's not going to work. Things like that. So I do feel it's really important for you to kind of make sure you're not dragging yourself down one, one pathway. So also I'm here in taking risks and also protecting your energy is gonna be really important. Um, shining your light more, like allowing your light to be shone more and stepping out of your comfort zone. I know a lot of you guys don't like stepping out of comfort zone. No one really likes <clears throat> stepping out of your comfort zone. It's not fun, but I feel like you're gonna be starting a new, new start very soon. And I feel like it's gonna really allow you to blossom. So what people really love about you is you have quite a high standard for yourself. So people look at you and you think, and they think, wow, like I wish I had that much patience. I wish I kind of looked like that. You know, I feel like you kind of upkeep your, your body quite nicely. I feel I'm hearing like well trimmed. So if you have a beard, you may trim it really nicely. If you have long hair, but you put it up all the time. You're somebody who likes to be quite efficient. Um, I'm picking up on strong Virgo here as well. Um, you're somebody who likes to look likes the finer things or you like nice looking things so you like things that are very aesthetically pleasing um, you do like things that are pretty so you may have very strong Libra in your chart as well um, you're somebody who can kind of really hurt yourself with your words sometimes so I feel like you self-reflect a bit too much and it can kind of come come with overthinking so what people love about you also is you see the potential in others, but you can't see it within yourself. And that's obviously not something to love about yourself because you want to see the potential in yourself as well. But I am seeing that you do, people love that you're so caring. You're very patient, you're very kind. And you're somebody who, yeah, you just have a lot of patience. You don't get overwhelmed very easily. Or if you do, people don't know about it. <laughs> it's very Capricorn energy. You're somebody who likes to have a high standard. You like to have a, a, a quite a high status. Maybe you want to be famous. Maybe you want to have a lot of, of like a strong following. Maybe you want a lot of money. Uh, maybe you just want to be well known or, you know, you want to be a boss or a supervisor or something where you can kind of keep climbing the ladder, that sort of thing. Um, I do feel like some of you guys may have children as well and you protect them really well and you're very empathic. Um, you're somebody, as I say, very patient, but I do feel like you need to kind of be calmer and it's more silent in your emotions. So what I mean by this is like meditating more, listening to yourself and listening to what your needs are because sometimes you push them under the rug because you might not understand what they are. 
Um, and the best thing for you to do is just ask yourself, what do I need right now? And for some of you guys, if you're more of a visual learner, you could kind of imagine it. If you're more of kind of like a tactile person, you could kind of make a mood board um, or draw. It's kind of getting things out of your body because sometimes things can get very stuck and very like bulky. Um, I'm actually hearing you may suffer with warts or um, kind of moles, something that's kind of like things like kind of coming out of the skin. Um, that kind of stick out and are very prominent. Um, you may be somebody who has a lot of freckles. Um, these can be like kind of positives and negatives. It depends obviously what is in your body. You know, I'm not a health practitioner, you know, but it's something I'm picking up. Um, and maybe you have like a mold or a skin tag that you don't like, but it's kind of teaching you to just love your body and love imperfection, you know? And imperfection, perfection is in the eye of the beholder, you know? Perfection is in the eye of whoever is, you know, they're kind of judging, you know? So we have the Six of Cups in the reverse. I do feel like this is asking you to connect to your inner child more, um, connect to what you love when you're a child, because this is gonna help you to stay um, in that lighter energy. You're somebody who loves to take charge. You might like driving, you might like fast cars, things like that. People love that you like to take charge, but you also do kind of have the burden of that sometimes, where you are the caregiver and other people kind of um, don't really look after you in that sense. So it's really looking after yourself, what you love, and kind of acknowledging that you need to be looked after too. Um, you may be a mother or a father who cares for children or, you know, you may be somebody who's a carer or um, like of your family or a teacher. Being around lots of people can be very draining for you, but you're also very caring. So it's really looking after yourself and slowing down and feeling. You may distract yourself with work and which is fine, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's also learning to take breaks as well and know that you aren't your work, you aren't your job, you're not your money, you're not your friends, you are you. And we didn't come into this world with money, we came in friggin' bare naked, you know, just with our soul. And that is who we are, you know, it's only through life that we cultivate these things, but we're all going to the same place at the end of the day, <laughs> you know? So I feel like it's really important for you to come more humble with yourself. Not, not in the sense that you're not humble, but it's coming to a more earthly place in yourself where you can understand people on different levels and you don't feel the need to kind of be this person that has to have everything. You can just be yourself, you know? You don't have to impress people. And if you do have to impress people, that is not the relationship you want, girl. You want something that you can be authentic. Um, I do feel like you're very driven. You have a lot of ideas. You're somebody who is the ideas man or woman. Um, and with the Ace of Wands, you're somebody who, like, you have a lot of passion. And sometimes that passion can turn into anger. So I do feel like what people love about you is that you're very, very passionate. You are really driven and you're somebody who will never let go of something. Like if you have an idea, you will see it through. Like you're very dedicated, very loyal. You take principles very strongly. And the Ace of Wands is showing me like really strong fire energy. Like you may be an actress, a singer, um, somebody who likes to perform. Um, yeah, it feels really, really lovely. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like a private reading or you want to check out my crystal shop, all that information's down below. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.